What's up Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. This time we're going to be looking at the SH Figure Arts uh, Ray from The Last Jedi. Uh, I got this one out during the week uh, from an Australian store called... I'm just going to bring it up on my phone really quickly. Figurecentral.com.au um, They've currently got 10% off of your first order if you haven't shopped there before. Um, just use the promo code figure it out at checkout and you'll get 10% off. Um, I didn't use it. <laughs> I just went bought it off of, as a um, anonymous seller. Um, so I've, I'm going to use that one next time. So uh, yeah, I'm look anonymous buyer. Sorry. So I'm going to use that next time because <laughs> um, I got a three pack of figures. Um, it was just a lot of three. It wasn't a three pack, um, but it was Ray, a Praetorian guard, and BB four um, little little BB unit. Um, they've also got another couple of lots, one that has Kylo Ren, another Praetorian Guard, and uh, BB-8, so I'm going to try and get that next week, all being well. But before we look at the figure, I'm going to look at the box. So here it is, again, pretty simple um, SH Figure Arts box. Um, it's at the top there, from The Last Jedi. Bandites, Marshy Nations, Ray on the side, some more Ray on the back. Accessories, which I'll go through in a moment. And there's the BB-8 there. So hopefully get them soon. Now accessory wise, she comes with a few sets of hands. Um, Got a couple of just fists. It's got a trigger finger for the blaster. There may have been two. I don't think there was though. I've I've missed an accessory. I've missed the lightsaber hilt. Um, she has two lightsaber gripping gripping hands and two open palms. like that one there. So at the moment I've got her using one of the lightsaber gripping hands and one of the um, open palms. She just comes with her blaster which does fit nicely in the holster. It's a reasonably tight fit. It's nicely detailed, looks good. Uh, like I said, lightsaber hilt as well, but uh, I've left the lightsaber hilt aside. But uh, like a like a couple of um, other figure arts figure arts figures, this uh, simply comes apart like that. Now you can slot through each side of the hand. And you can recomplete the lightsaber. So it looks pretty nice. So I'll just demonstrate that quickly. Face. Look at one of the faces because she does have another one. It's really, really well done. I really, really like it a lot. Well sculpted. It's got that sort of same paint tech that uh, Hasbro are using now, which is which is cool. Um, uh, yeah, we've got a swappable face, which is this is the first figure arts figure I've had that has this has this ability. So it's just simply the back of the hair is part of a separate piece, and then we've got got this bit here. And this one's a bit of a tight fit, so bear with me for just a second. A slightly more aggressive look. Which again looks good, but uh. I think I like the regular one more. It's just my cup of tea. So pop that one off, pop that one back on. Looks good. So the other accessory, I've put her on a I've put her on a black series figure, but it's actually this sort of satchel backpack 
that she carries with her to the top of um, Luke's Island at the end of uh, The Force Awakens. Well weathered. Looks nice on this figure, I think, more so than the uh, Last Jedi version. Sort of suits a bit better, but it's cool. It's good, a good accessory. And the look of this figure is really good. Yeah, really great detail throughout. You can sort of see the fabric there. It's not fabric, but it's <laughs> molded like fabric. It's good. I like the colours of the. Uh, I just like the colours of this outfit a lot. Boots look good. And sort of nice. Nice sort of leathery look. Posability is really good with this figure. Um, again, if you pop off her head, you can sort of see there's a ball and socket in the in the hairpiece. There's another one inside the neck there. The neck moves itself. Um, sort of there's an elbow, a shoulder joint in there, as well as that sort of butterfly moving joint good movement in the elbows in the wrists you know, those hands quite nimble so they tend to popping out try not to break them um, the joint there in the a couple of joints there in the waist again the uh, hips knees and ankles as well some really good posability with this figure. You can get set this one up in a some really good poses. Oh, I forgot. There's a joint in the front of the foot too, so you can allow that sort of toes to kick up. And there you have it. Don't have a lot else to say about it because I'm really into the into it. I'm on a bit of a figure arts kick at the moment. Um, we've got a, got a couple recently, which is which is awesome because I've only ever had had the two. So uh, yeah, they're, they're great figures. I'm really enjoying them. Getting them if we can get them for the right price, because they are, you know, they are a, bit, a little bit pricier than most. But uh, if you can get them for the right price, they're absolutely worth it. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with another video very soon. I'm actually on holidays now. A couple of much needed weeks off of work. Um, recording episode three of the podcast on monday um so that should be up and edited and um live middle of next week all being well um if not soon after i don't have that much on that i can't sit and edit it for a couple of hours so um yeah i'll be having my first guest which is really really exciting um we're both looking forward to sitting down and having a chat for a while so we'll see how it goes and uh yeah, definitely looking forward to more content. So, yeah, stay tuned. And until my next video, guys, may the force be with you. Always.